get this out to your instructors and that way you can watch it again afterwards. During the presentation, if a question comes up and you don't wanna forget it, you can put it in the chat box, but we'll have time at the end uh, for you to ask Professor Grady your questions. So now I am going to mute myself and turn things over to Teresa Grady. Hi everyone and thank you for attending today. And what I'm gonna go through is I have a PowerPoint that was made up. And at the end, my email address and phone number is there. So if you have any other questions I would prefer, you can email me anytime and I'd be happy to respond. So I'm gonna start with, um, is the dental hygiene program the right fit for you? So we are located in the West Building at the main campus. And we have 17 dental units and we provide free dental treatment for anybody. Anybody can come. You can live in Philadelphia, you can live in New Jersey, wherever. Uh, young and old will treat anyone and it is for free. We are the only dental hygiene program in the city of Philadelphia. And these are just some pictures of you know, one of the students is taking somebody's blood pressure, the other one is taking images on someone, they're working on their patient. And these are just a bunch of students looking at some patient's film. So the nature of the work, what is a hygienist and what does a hygienist do? We will remove soft and hard deposits, which are called calculus or tartar from people's teeth. This is a picture of very frequently what we see uh, when people come to get their teeth cleaned. We will be wearing a, you know, um, PPE, which are mask, glasses, gown, gloves. Now we've added wearing a shield. Uh, I should have had a picture of that today for you. Um, but you probably have seen people wearing shields. So we do uh, use an assortment of different instruments to complete our tasks. We use hand and rotary instruments, ultrasonic devices also to clean and polish the teeth. And I have pictures of that. This is an example of a polishing uh, handpiece. These are some instruments that we may be using. So we will also teach patients how to care and take care of their oral hygiene. Uh, teaching them different ways to brush and floss, uh, different effective ways that we have found. We will also do a head and neck screening for oral cancer. We will look all around the mouth at the gingiva, um, you know, the floor of the mouth and, and the neck area as well, as you see here, some pictures. We will also take images or radiographs uh, of the patients, and we'll use these for different treatment planning to decide what the patient may or may not need done. We will also apply anti-cavity preventive agents such as fluoride and or this is a pit and fist or sealant that we apply as well. And remember, we do all this for free at the clinic. We will also help patients understand the relationship between diet and health, healthy lifestyle, um, through nutritional education.